In order to use matrices to solve complex and real world problems, we need to have some sort of mathematics defined for them. To start this off, we're going to look at arithmetic for matrices. So now that we know a little bit about matrices and their terminology, we're going to look at how to add matrices, subtract matrices, and multiply them by numbers. There'll be some other things that come along later as well, but for now, these are the elementary operations we need to work with. First of all, matrix addition. Two matrices can only be added when they have the same size or dimension. So for example, three by four matrix, uh, matrix and a three by four matrix, they could be added. But if you tried to add a four by three matrix to a three by four matrix, you couldn't do that. So they have to have the same number of rows and the same number of columns. And the result of adding the matrices is actually the same size as the ones you started with. Now the reason why, or kind of why all this works together is because of the way that we actually uh, define the operation of addition of the matrices. Essentially, we do so by saying that the result, as you can see down here, has elements which are given by adding the individual corresponding elements of the originals. So A matrix plus B matrix, of whatever size they happen to be, provided it's the right size to add them, will end up with adding A11 and B11 to give the 1, 1 element of the result. Similarly, B22 and A22 are added to give the next diagonal. It's true for all the other elements as well. A12 plus B12 comes from A12 added to B12, and so on. Let's have a look at it in an example. Here we've got three matrices, L, M, and N. And we need to find, where possible, L plus N and M plus N. Okay, so maybe pause the video for a moment and have a go at this one yourself and see what you come up with before coming back and seeing how I go through it. Okay, to add two matrices, the first thing we really need to do is make sure that they're the correct dimensions in order to add them together. So looking at part A, first of all, we've got to add L and N. So let's look at those. L is a three row by three column matrix. Let's just write that down for reference. N has three rows as well but it's got four columns. So those two matrices have different dimensions, so we can't actually add them. So L plus N is not possible. Second, we're asked to find M plus N. So that's the second two matrices. Let's just check the dimensions of M. It's got three rows and four columns. Now that's exactly the same as N, so we're good to go. So we can add those two together. So let's just write down M plus N is equal to now the result is also going to have the same size, so it'll be three rows by four columns, so we can give ourselves that much room. And each element is given by adding the corresponding entries from M and N. So the first one down here is going to be three plus three, or just six. Then moving along, we have two plus two gives us four. Zero plus one is one. And minus two plus minus two, carefully, is minus four. So so on down the line. We're going to get 0, 0, 6, 0, 1, 5, 9, and minus 2 for our M plus N matrix, which, as we can see, is a 3 by 4, as we expected, and its entries are given by adding the corresponding entries or elements from M and N. So that's pretty much how matrix addition works. Let's have a look at scalar multiplication. That's just multiplying a matrix by a number out front. It's very similar. Any matrix can be multiplied by a number or scalar. The size doesn't matter. The result, just like with addition, is the same size as the original matrix. And that's because when we figure out what a scalar, let's call it K, multiplied by a matrix, let's call it A, when we figure out what that is, we actually just multiply every entry in A by that number K. So you can see here we have KA11 instead of A11, and so on for the rest of it. Let's check that out with an example. Here we've got M and N matrices again, and we've got to find 2M, which we can do. We can always multiply by a constant, and then 2M minus N. And we'll have to be careful with that one. So let's just check out A first. A is 2M, so we're just going to go 2 multiplied by the M matrix, 3, 2, 0, minus 2, 1, 0, 1, 1. 0, 3, 6, minus 1. That's just going to be 2 multiplied by every single entry inside that matrix. So 2 by 3 is going to be 6. 2 by 2 is 4. 0, minus 4, and so on. 
2, 0, 2, and 2, 0, 6, 12, and minus 2. So that's our 2 multiplied by m matrix over there. Now the next example asks us to subtract two matrices, 2m, which we've just found, and n, which is given in the question. But I haven't talked about subtraction of matrices. Basically though, what we're going to think of as subtraction is just adding the negative one multiple of that matrix. So when we say minus n, what we're really doing is adding the matrix negative one n, where negative one n is just the scalar multiple of n and minus one. So that's how we're going to proceed with that one. Pause for a minute, have a go with this yourself and see how you go, and then come back and follow through with me. Okay, first of all, we want to check the dimensions because we need to add some matrices. We're going to add 2m and minus 1n. Now, first of all, 2m is just 3 by 4. We've just seen that. And one, uh, minus 1n is also 3 by 4. So that's got a tick. We can do that one, and everything's going to be fine there. So, Okay, so we can just write that out a bit more explicitly. 2m minus n is equal to 2m plus minus 1n. 2m we've just calculated. And then we need to add to that the matrix minus 1n. Now I've just popped n down the bottom here, just for reference. And we just need to multiply all those numbers by minus 1, basically. So we're going to have minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 2, then 1, 0, minus 5, and 1. And finally, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and 1. And the last step is just to add all of those together. So we have 6 mi plus minus 3 is 3, 4 plus minus 2 is 2, 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1, minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, and so on. So 2 plus 1 is 3, 0, minus 3, 3, minus 1, 4, 9, and minus 1. So that's our result for 2m minus n. Again, it's the same dimension as all of the matrices we started with. So where to now? If you're looking at other texts, like usual, check out how they discuss matrix addition and scalar multiplication and see if there's anything in there that helps you understand it a bit better than what we've done here. Attempt any exercises from the worksheet that are relevant to this section. And if you think you need to, note these matrix rules down in your cheat sheet. But after a bit of practice, they should just uh, come to you fairly quickly. That's it for now on matrix arithmetic.